spoiler time for Orphan First Kill. So as I said, chap, the character of Esther, she escapes Estonia, and she's looking up missing kids in the U.S. and poses as the long-lost daughter of, of Julia Stiles, chat, of this very wealthy couple. In the movie, she's in the first, I'd say, third of the film. She's struggling to hide her identity, uh, and a lot of people start questioning a lot of what she's saying, their stories. And there's this one detective, this inspector in the film, who's like, there's just something not right about this girl, this little girl. And he's the one that has the most misgivings. At one point in the film, he wants to check her thumbprints and show he steals an object. I think it's like a vinyl. It's, um, it's yeah, it's like a, a vinyl. And he takes it back. Uh, to his home, and Esther basically, you know, follows him there, compares the the fingerprints, right? And uh, he realizes, like, oh, shit, this little girl is not Esther at all. And she then proceeds to does what Esther typically does, chat, and starts stabbing the shit out of him, chat, starts stabbing the shit out of him. And right before she's about to finish him off, Julia Stiles arrives at the house because she also followed Esther to the inspector's house. And um, he basically says to her, fucking, that's not your daughter. And then Julia Stiles goes, oh, I know. Boom! And shoots him. Shoots him multiple times and then blows his head off. And Esther's like, what? <laughs> what? Why'd you do that? And she's like, oh, let me tell you, honey. And so she explains that her son, Gunner Chat, killed the real Esther years ago. And she and her son uh, covered it up and hid the body like in this well or something and have been putting on a ruse for years. And the husband is, does, does not know about it all. And I just, I didn't expect that. I was like, oh my God. And so the son and Julia Stiles are fucking crazy. And there, and what happens is she's like, listen, we have to make sure that that doesn't get out. You don't want to go back to Estonia to the, Ar the Arkham Asylum in Estonia, all right? And so they make a deal, basically. And they have her pose as the daughter until they can figure out what to do next. And in the rest of the movie... <laughs> They pretty much go back and forth trying to kill each other. It's like this cat and mouse game because they both get annoyed. They're like, ah, oh, because they're like, okay. And she's like, listen, you little shit. And I love it because at that point, they, all of it's just the whole facades drop when they're alone together. And it's like, listen, you psychotic piece of sh shit dwarf. <laughs> like constantly making fun of the fact that she's a dwarf. And it's like, listen, you got to act like my goddamn daughter, who I love dearly. Oh, what a great thing too. They like, they take the detective to the well and they shove his body down there. And even Esther's like, wait, is your daughter in there too? She's like, yeah, and you'll end, end up down there too if you don't fucking uh, shape up and do what I say. And she's like, wow. And so you kind of, you realize, you're like, who, which side do I cheer for? Like Esther already killed like a bunch of people previously, in the, which I want to get to. She killed a whole bunch of people previously in the movie chat. But now you're like, wow, Julia Stiles and her son are like also pieces of shit. And so you're kind of cheering for Esther for the majority of the film after that point because she's like, I got to deal with two crazy people now, two competitors, and a husband who is just, just, just like, I'm just happy that my whole family's back together, not realizing all this drama is happening behind the scenes. And so they're going back and forth and just doing shitty things to each other. Like at one point, this is, this is kind of cool. Um, Julia Stiles is like, all right, we got a deal with Esther. Let's just kill her with macaroni and hot dogs. <laughs> and so she makes this like macaroni and hot dog meal, which was es like the original Esther's like favorite food. And Esther's like, I fucking hate this food. This sucks. And she goes back to her room. And at one point in the movie, or at several points in the movie, she befriends this rat. She actually, and uh, earlier on, she actually planned to leave, but she's fallen in love with the husband, Alan. She's like, oh. I don't want to leave because I want to suck. She just wants to suck his dick. That's what she wants to do, chat. Clearly, all right? That's her thing. She's like, oh, he's so, he's like, she's in, the, she's really into dad bods, chat. Like 45-year-old dad bods. That's, that is her thing. She's like, I don't want to go. And she also befriends a rat who I thought, like, she was going to, like, kill at one point. She doesn't. She's actually, like, that's her friend. That's her little rat friend. And uh, at one point, she doesn't want to eat the hot dogs and macaroni. I thought, you know, because she doesn't know it's poison. And she's like, here, you want some? And so the rat eats it. And then later on, she, she's like, she wants to play with her little rat friend because she loves him. But the rat is dead. And he's, she's like, that fucking bitch tried to kill me. 
with the macaroni and 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 hot dogs. And so at one point she takes the rat basically and puts it into like uh, Julia Stiles like kale health drink and <laughs> and Julia Stiles finds out later on like oh it's so gross. And so they're constantly doing this back and forth to each other. Eventually it all kind of comes to a head where uh, Julia Stiles well, 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 well one um, Esther tries to kill both Julia Stiles and Gunner at this uh, uh, at this train station. She tries to knock them over, and she's like, "This fucking bitch tried to kill us." And so they decide, like, right then and there, we got to kill her very soon. Um, you know, they eventually end up back at the house. You know, Esther kills Gunner with his with his crossbow. The kid's crazy. The kid's definitely got like Joffrey Baratheon from Game of Thrones energy. It's like he kind of maintains this facade, but you can tell like this kid's spoiled rotten. And he's just not a good person, chat. Uh, but, and then, you know, the house is set on fire. And then that's also the kind of inconsistent thing because we see earlier in the movie, like when Esther escapes from the Estonian Arkham Asylum, she's literally like grabbing people's heads and slamming them into the wall. And it's like, she's like, she has Michael Myers powers. And yet here she cannot take on Julia Stiles. Julia Stiles is just too much for her, chat. Well, eventually a fire starts and they start fighting on top of the roof of, of the very beautiful looking home. CGI is not good. Uh, Alan, who's just like, but what about my family? He comes home, and he has, it's literally a scene from uh, The Good Son with Macaulay Culkin and Elijah Wood, where, like, the mom's got to choose which one. And so <laughs> he chooses Esther, and then Julie Stiles is like, ah! And she falls back, boom, her head explodes when it hits the concrete. Just, like, a lot of, I was like, ooh, that was a good meaty head explosion, chat. So she dies. But then at one point, Esther's fucking false teeth. Remember, Chad, from the original movie? Her false teeth fall out. And he's like, oh, you're not my daughter. You're a monster. She's like, no, I want, I love you. But then, you know, he's like, no, get away from me. And so she pushes him. And she feels bad about that. But he also falls. And then he dies as well. And then the whole house burns down. And then that's, that's what sets up the events of the next film. She's then put into the adoption agency, and she's later adopted by Vera Farmiga and one of the 27 Stellan Skarsgård sons. That's what happens, chat. And uh, that's the movie. That's the movie. It's, the thing is, it sounds dark, but it's actually really funny. <laughs> that's a lot of funny scenes. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty much all the spoilers in the film. There's also a great sequence. This is a little on the nose. Like at one point, she escapes uh, from um, Julia Stiles and and the son at the subway station, and she literally just fights again. She's like she, she fights them both off and uses bear spray or pepper spray in the son's face, oh, like melts his eyeballs, and she takes off, steals the car. And she puts on, like, what comes on the radio is maniac. She's a maniac. And she, like, puts on this fucking lipstick and these sunglasses. She's like, woo! And, like, doing that. And she's just having a ball. But that's the crazy shit in the movie that really works for me, chat. I was like, oh, this is great. Uh, and then, but then, then that's what leads into the, eventually the last act of the film when she fights Julia Stiles and Gunner and, and then Alan. But, yeah, it, uh, it, 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 it worked more for me than it did in chat. I had a lot of fun. It's, it's pretty well paced, you know, it's very short, about an hour, slightly over 90 minutes, like maybe an hour 33, but it was nice, chap, yeah, the <laughs> driving scene was, I thought that was just totally meant to be comedic, I was like, all right, like, they're literally saying, she's a maniac, <laughs> and she's just going, yay, it worked for me, chap, but yeah, uh, again, my, my rating still holds for, uh, Orphan First Kill, I would give it a matinee, chap, honestly, I would give it a matinee, again, a war, it's ridiculousness, it's goofiness on both of its sleeves, and it succeeded for the most part. Matinee for me, Chen, the double toasted scale. Mm. What do you think of uh, uh, Makeup Esther Crown? Oh, see, well, that was part of her performance. See, that was part of her performance. Because another part of it, too, is like her and the mother's like, all right, listen, you got to know everything about my daughter. So you got to study her. You got to, like, she talked about, like, all the history, like, all the trips they went on before, you know, the brother murdered her. Like, you got to know this shit. And so it's just basically Julia Stiles taught her to be a a better actor. So the, the whole tear at the end, I mean, I feel like she d did care about Alan. She didn't want to have to kill him because she did love him because they both share like this mutual love of like painting and she was obviously attracted to him. But like the whole tear at the end when she's in the, the orphanage, I thought that was a total, um, uh, you know, just a, a performance. So I think this was the fan deserves the third. So I don't know what they would do though. Like, the uh, are they gonna keep doing prequels? <laughs> are we gonna, she's gonna get older and older. They keep going back in the past. Like I'm not sure what they can do because in the original orphan she dies. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure she dies in that original film. I could be wrong, though, right? Didn't she? She dies in that movie. When she's trapped on the ice. She's Benjamin Button, yes. <laughs> oh, my lord. The younger she gets, the older she gets. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I mean, I'm sure they're looking at that right now. I just don't know. It's weird because I'd be curious to see how this movie would have performed in theaters. Because uh, it's gotten, like, really good reviews. Like, most of the, it's been mixed, mixed to positive. Um, more people like it than not, you know? So, at this point, in the, oh, she lives in the, oh, they have an alternate ending? Ah. Mm-hmm. Exactly, you're right, Casfe. It was not her first kill. I don't know why they even, odd title, honestly, they call it Orphan First Kill, and it's said, like, when we're at the Asana Sun, they, they literally, they literally say, she is the craziest fucking person we've ever encountered, she's killed so many people, and they're like, ah, whatever, so Orphan the Beginning, Orphan the Birth, like, I'm sure they can go even farther back if they wanted to, you know, to what, the 80s, when she's like, actually a little girl, <laughs> yeah, so in the old days she lives, oh, they could do that then, if they wanted. They could just say that's the canon ending now. I didn't think that was the case. I thought it was a little deeper than that. I also wouldn't be mad if they ignore the first movie and continue on. They might. I mean, if they, they well, if it, like with Casface said, if there's an alternate ending where she lives, they'll just say like that's the canon ending that we're gonna go with. They could do that. Yep. Mm hmm. Can you know, Chucky? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Do crossovers. They could do a prequel before the prequel. Yeah. Prequel before the prequel. It's a hard knock life for her. <laughs> Give her a break. It was. <laughs> Side goat murder. Oh Lord. I was talking about her crying in the over. Oh, you thought that like she but that was actually her crying. Yeah. I thought it was a performance. I thought she did regret killing Alan, but she's like, ah, fuck. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Hmm. Yeah, actually, I enjoyed it. I recommend uh the movie. It's on parent if you it, it's in the theaters. It does have a limited release right now. Uh and I don't I, I don't think you'll regret seeing it. It's fun. Um but uh, if you want to watch it on Paramount Plus, be my guest. Be my guest. That's also a good way to watch it. That's how I watch it, chat. And my audio video commentary will be uploaded. My audio commentary for the film is already uploaded. My video one will be uploaded later on. Yes, chat.